If the alleged bomber on a Christmas Day flight to the United States had gone through a full body scanner, his explosives might have been detected and an attempted bombing foiled much earlier. The United States, in addition to Britain, the Netherlands, France and Italy, have announced plans to install body scanners at airports. It's very hard to find explosive with the equipment now available. Body scanners will be able to do that. Using x-rays bounced off the body, the machines generate anatomically correct images and can detect items hidden in clothing. Aside from concerns over privacy, there's a growing discussion about a possible risk of cancer from radiation emitted by the scanners. Aside from concerns over privacy, there's a growing discussion about a possible risk of cancer from radiation emitted by the scanners. But according to some experts, the risk is small. The radiation from so-called backscatter technology is 2,000 times less than a chest x-ray and 200,000 times less than a CAT scan. Mahadevapa Mahesh is a professor of radiology at the Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine in Baltimore. The total exposure time is about 8 to 15 seconds and the radiation dose levels are quite small because the X-rays used here is, does not penetrate to the body. It is very low dose, so therefore it is just reflecting back and the scatter radiation coming out of the body is actually captured by a detector and you get an image. The alleged Christmas Day bomber, Umar Farouk Abdul Mutalab, flew through Amsterdam and Lagos, Nigeria's commercial capital. Media reports say Nigeria had already received body scanners from the United States, but did not use one on the alleged bomber. Some experts say these expensive machines will be difficult for many African and poor countries to purchase and install. Even if developed countries donate the scanners, there still could be health issues. Some say the risk of radiation exposure could be greater in developing countries where maintenance might be spottier. As we do in any of these uh, scanners in the, medical, in the hospitals, where we do a periodic check to make sure the radiation levels are as specified and within the uh, acceptable limits, that's important. There's always possibility something goes wrong in these scanners and that can emit more radiation. To avoid those things, the best way is like to get it checked on a periodic basis. Though many experts believe that radiation exposure from full body scans will not pose a risk of cancer, some urge caution. Dr. David Brenner of Columbia University Medical Center in New York is one. Children in general are more sensitive than adults to radiation and the developing embryo and fetus in a, in a pregnant person are the most sensitive of all. Experts say more study is needed. For Vidushi Sinha, I'm Melinda Smith, VOA News.